Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I am going to be on the draw, um, playing a standard two man. I have Solar Flare, um, not the greatest of draws, but it has some card draw. It also has an O ring um, and a Day of Judgment, so the black card's kind of irrelevant currently. But we have some decent stuff in hand. Draw Batter Skull. So we'll play out our fortress, and we're pretty much playing the mirror, it looks like. Okay, this might just be blue-white control. Uh, that's a good draw. So we're going to play that out, and we're going to pass. And we'll probably try to alchemy soon. Okay, I think we go for this here, even though he will likely sit there and counter. Um... I think we want the chapel. We have another O-ring in hand, so we're not really too worried. Lingering souls here. And we'll play a ta uh, chapel. Seems good. Now if he untaps into a Gideon or something of that nature, we just have O-ring for it. And we block down. Ooh, Tamiyo. Okay, that's cool. We'll see what he taps. Probably one of my lands. Okay, that doesn't really do much. Play a ghost quarter. Got an O-ring. So we'll O-ring his Tamiyo, and we will bash for two. So we seem okay on our mana currently. He's at six cards though, so we're kind of hoping we don't see O ring my O ring. All right, so he lingering souls here. It's not the end of the world. Can kill both of those, but I don't really want to. Let's just try to bash in. See if he wants to trade out. It's fine. We will name giant. Not that it seems relevant. Um, hmm. Am I worried about mana leak? The thing is, I might be. So I think I actually just flash back Lingering Souls here. And then I go Alchemy on my turn. On his end step. Uh, I think I want to play around cards like mana leak if I can. Because there's really no point. This might be... Okay, so he flashes back his Lingering Souls. Which is fine. We will attempt to Alchemy here. I highly doubt he'll counter that. Um, we're going to take Gideon. And... We will... Unfortunately, not hit our land. Um, I think we play the Curse of Death Sold here. We want him to counter things. So we want to draw out his mana leaks. And we don't want things like Gideon getting wasted, if possible. Okay, so... He chump chumps, he has four cards, we have five. He quite possibly has Snapcaster Mana Leak, which is unfortunate for us. He knows we have the Skidian. But once we draw a Sun Titan, we're like super going to be good here. We'll just pay with like all white mana. No, you may not counter it. Okay, unfortunately we can't have like the combo going. But we'll get a Liliana back. And I believe we want to plus it and get rid of this Day of Judgment.
I mean, I think having these two kill spells is perfectly fine. This is definitely getting wasted here. He's going to draw a card and most likely kill this, which I can't really protect it, but there's not much I can do about this. Hopefully this isn't Karn. Looks like it might be Karn. Karn is going to kill us. We... Okay, so he's going to tap this down. Jeez, Battle of the Planeswalkers. Tap that down. We have a few outs, but Lingering Souls is not one of them, unfortunately. We cannot alchemy. Yeah, I think we just lose this, but that's a lot of Planeswalkers. Um, hmm. Three alchemies in the yard. I guess we can play Gideon. Could play a bunch of lingering souls tokens. Could both discard. Yeah, I think we play some lingering souls tokens here. And get that back and we each discard I'd rather have the doom blade so we'll see we'll see what happens he chucks a day of judgment which is a very bad sign for us we got kind of tied up on mana maybe I made the wrong decision with the forbidden alchemies he's probably got another day yep Okay, so he wipes our board. He's going to exile a card from our hand and probably tap down one of our lands. Um, I will exile the Doom Blade. It's just unfortunate he had two Day of Judgments there. Okay, he taps down our Cavern, which is very smart because he's saying that he's got a way to deal with our Liliana and our spell he has a counter is what I'm trying to say alright so we will each discard a card uh, I'm gonna chuck this island okay so he has a mana leak so I have to assume he has another mana leak here um, exile turn this is getting exiled I think we gotta go for Gideon here. Um, I have a feeling it's just gonna get killed, but geez Louise, not much we can do. Snapcaster, Mana Leak, or just straight Mana Leak. Yep, he's got it all. I'm gonna scoop this one up. Pretty unfortunate. Karn's a beating. We weren't really drawing too live. Um, and we don't have many out to this matchup. Um, can bring in this, bring in this. I think we would cut the curse, cut the Elish Norn, cut the dead weight. I do think we want this Karn. Uh, Ratchet Bomb's not really great. I think we do bring in the other Ghost Quarter. Divine Offering doesn't seem good. Timely doesn't seem good. All these days don't really seem good either. I think we are kind of weak to control, unfortunately. Purge. I mean, this is what we're looking at. I mean, we could have a Curse of Death Hold against his lingering souls tokens but I'd rather just ratchet bomb them away let's let's run with this see how it goes okay we will play first uh, I think we keep this it's not the greatest hand but we have cavern for sun titan so if this does get leaked um, we'll be fine 
We don't have any white mana, but eventually we will draw some with this Forbidden Alchemy, I would think. So I think being on the play here is definitely where we want to be at. Okay, so we're back. My opponent also keeps. And we will see if we could win this game. Uh, Esper Control is definitely a hard matchup for us here. Seems like it's likely that we are the underdog in this matchup. I would definitely appreciate having an early Liliana. That would be very sweet. Playing around Mana Leak is always kind of difficult. Okay, so he chose not to shuffle. He's got many a Planeswalkers. Uh, we'll play out another Dark Six Shores and we'll just pass this turn. Eventually we'll get to this, but it's not the greatest to get to. Now we have two choices here. We can try to set this up and play around Mana Leak, or we can just try to hit with this Liliana. I like trying to force him here. I think he keeps with his counter spell, but I think forcing this into play is is pretty solid if we stick it. It's going to be really hard for him outside of having an Oblivion Ring to deal with this. Come on, you know you want to stick. Stick it. Okay, I believe he's doing something. So I'm going to pause here and wait for his reaction. Okay, so it does stick, so we're going to discard a card. Uh, and I'm going to discard this alchemy. The way you lose control matchups is by not having land. As you can see, I definitely need to keep trucking out lands for days. Now, if he has an O-ring, he has an O-ring. Looks like he might. Okay, so not much I could do about that. So eventually, maybe we'll get to... O-ring, our O-ring, and all that good stuff. So he's tapped out now, so it it's probably relevant to land this alchemy here. And I think we're just going to take this Sun Titan and let all this other stuff fall by the wayside. Because he can't tap out anything on turn 4 that really hurts us. We definitely need white mana, unfortunately. See if this one sticks. Okay, so he has a dissipate there, which is fine. So we actually can't play either of these Sun Titans next turn, which is pretty unfortunate. I probably should have flashed back my Lingering Souls there. That was my bad. So let's name Giant. Definitely a minor boo-boo there. Should have flashed back my Lingering Souls without a doubt last turn. So I'd have two in the air here. That's a lot of black mana. And a lot of blue mana. Okay, so it's quite possible that he's trying to get to Karn here. Uh, we will be going for this and naming well I think we have to name giant here because we have no white so we'll double giant it up here we'll leave up ghost quarter play our sun titan uncounterable does not mean it can't get Wrathed away, he thinks twice in response, and I believe he's going to just think twice again, trying to dig for a day of judgment. And I will get my land in play here, my glacial fortress, since I'm not going to be using a plains here anyway. I mean, I could have tapped better and then played a sun titan and imaged it. That might have been a better line. I have a feeling this is just dying, but we'll try to swing with team. 
And it's not dying. Okay. All right, let's go for an alchemy here. Okay, thinks twice again. We'll see if we can get some shenanigans going. Um, I think I take the drown yard here. Play the drown yard. And I think, I mean, it does force him to have an answer if I Lingering Souls here. So I'll try to Lingering Souls here. And then if he drew into Day of Judgment or an answer, that's just how it's going to have to be. He's going to think twice a bunch. But if not, I just have him on a one-turn clock, which is kind of unfortunate if he draws an answer because then I wouldn't have had to flash this back. So he has the answer. And we have a chapel. And we're just going to, I guess we'll cast Sun Titan. See, like I want a Sun Titan and then image. But if I do that, that's really just poor for us. And then if he has an answer, but I gotta I gotta throw a threat down, so there's no sense in waiting. Make sure I have the correct mana in case I want to drown yard there. So that comes down and we'll say yes. And I think we're going to try to force the issue here. Which is cast the image, seeing if he has an answer. If he has an answer, that's just bad for us. Okay, so he dissipates the image. And we'll pass the turn. He's got five cards in hand, so this is not really looking too good if he nails a Planeswalker on us here. Like, Tamiyo Tap is really going to be unfortunate, but we do have the mill plan. What can he have? Okay, there's not much I could do about this. He's got Snapcaster, Day of Judgment. So he will day away. And that's fine. And he will stick a lingering souls. Good play by him. Okay, and we hit another lingering souls. Um but that was a pretty good draw. So I believe we'll play our spell bomb. And I guess we'll do this now. This is kind of limiting on what we can do. Two, four, six, seven. Ponder negate. I kind of want to alchemy. I think I'm going to alchemy in response. But I feel like I should be drawing a card here off of my spell bomb. But that might just be worse. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'd rather forbid an alchemy here. We can take two for a bunch of turns. Not really worried about that. Okay, we will definitely alchemy. I 
think drawing the guaranteed card off of the spell bomb is good. Um, I could be playing this wrong, but I think trying to get a bunch of cards in play. Oh, that's a really good one. All right, well, let's go for it here. Make sure we leave up blue. Six, seven. Try to cash an Elish Norn in. He's got a counter, that's fine. Uh, and then we will pass the turn. Leaving up a Drown Yard. So we're on the multiple plans here. Okay. Batter Skull is a 2 2, doesn't really do much for us. Or for him, I should say. Plus, I can get rid of his germ now. Do hit a lingering souls. He is at ten. Okay, so we'll flashback. Rid an alchemy and we'll take our own lingering souls. And the thing we don't want to happen is to get Day of Judgment. Id. See if he wants to block here. His lingering souls are pretty useless at this point. Hopefully he doesn't have a trick like block and kill or whatever, but that would do nothing. I think we got this game. Unfortunately, we're six minutes behind on the clock, so we definitely need to play faster, I would assume. Okay, so he takes four. I think we go play out the tokens. I don't think I don't like that. Had a ratchet bomb. And then I think we'll sweep here. Okay, and then I think we'll just try to mise with our Lingering Souls token. And hopefully that will end the game for us here. 10 power on the board is definitely nice. It's possibly return batter skull, which is fine because we still have lethal in the air. Okay, we no longer have lethal in the air, unfortunately. So now he'll play out the batter skull and we can't kill it with a doom blade quite bad of us but hopefully we'll top deck something sweet and just like end this game and now he could also play back his lingering souls which is quite unfortunate okay so o-ring has o-ring seems like a good game since he has no outs to a lethal attack from flyers and that'll be game alright so seems good wish we had some revoke existences we know he's got batter skull now so bringing in these divine offerings is very relevant. Um, I kind of also like these curses, but they're so slow. I mean, I could see cutting one ratchet bomb. This doom blade might not be amazing. I don't want all these five drops. I don't think I want all these curses. You know what? Like one is good. 
one and one might do it. Yeah, I think I like this. You know, maybe I want one spell bomb, but he does use his graveyard as well. All right, let's take one ratchet bomb. Play one ratchet bomb. We could always get it back. This seems pretty good. Maybe I want two divine offerings. Let me go through everything really quickly. Yeah, I think this is fine. We just can't get screwed on land. We are playing 27 lands, so let's get there. Let's try to win. Winning this matchup would be pretty nice. Ooh, this hand is not much of anything, but it does have all my mana, it has a ghost quarter, and it has oblivion ring. So I don't think being pretty much down five minutes on the clock that I could really screw around. I think I essentially have to just continue to play things. Um, I'd like to not drop this into play tapped because he can just play anything now but then if he plays anything I could just o-ring and I kinda think he's not going to okay lingering souls does nothing Okay, we're gonna save our o-rings for relevant stuff okay I can't just f6 here Man, if he's on the, like, he has the aggro plan down, that would suck. Like, he knows we have nothing. That's crazy. Sadly enough, I think I might have, uh, have to just do that. I think I have to make... A phantasmal image copying a token because I am just crap out of luck here it seems and just block I might just lose to tokens we'll just block one we'll go to 15 if I were him I would do absolutely nothing else too bad we don't have a Gideon here Let's see if Jay sticks J sticks, that'd be good. I would think he's just negating. Okay. That's fine. God, I hope this isn't Tammy out. Oh, God, he's got his own Jace. Damn, that's crazy. Now we gotta fight this front on two folds. Come on, top deck. I can't even do that, which is very unfortunate. I could get back a phantasmal image. Um, float. Not quite. Do I O-ring this? He's just burying me in card advantage. I could unburial right to blocker. That just seems terrible. I think it's unfortunate but I probably have to o-ring his jace here I really don't like that play at all I wish I wasn't cold to these spirit tokens right now o-ring is o-ring, got it, you got it that's fine getting wasted by these I kinda want him to mill me out some cards. We'll go to nine. Jeez, if he's gonna dissipate, we're just done. Uh, that's a good draw. Um, do we go for Karn here? You can put 12 power on the board and then Karn. We can Karn. He's got five cards. He can't Snapcaster negate. I think we just gotta go for this and force him to 
either kill our Sun Titan or do something to kind of... He's probably going to think twice here. We're going to take some beatings here. I don't even know if we can race this. Okay, so we will say yes, and we'll just copy this so we can have 12 power on the board. I think this is dying in a turn, one of them. We'll see. Nope. Gotta get lucky. Just gotta get lucky. We get Karn and get rid of his O-ring to get rid of this. Man. It's a go for the throat in our yard. Slowly milling us away. We're at eight minutes. I mean, we could race six power. I don't think we can race a Tamiyo. Or an O-ring targeting this. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta target the real one. Okay, so no swings there. He's got five cards in hand, so Snapcaster. These divine offerings are killing me. Snapcaster negate is just a beating here. ghost quarter one of his lands and see if I can get anything out of that he taps a blue source and then he'll get another land and we'll go to combat and we'll at least attempt to get something back this way we'll make his blue source disappear when we go to combat He's going to think twice. We'll attack him. I don't think. See what he does. See if he just chumps. Fortunately now, he has to just straight have a Dissipate or a Negate. Or a Mana Leak. He just chumps. I think I try to Alchemy here. Instead of anything else. Um, I'm going to Alchemy. Of course, I don't pay a black source, <laughs> which at six minutes is <laughs> very annoying, but we're trying. I should have alchemied main phase. I think that would have been way better, because then I could have got a Liliana in play instead of just doing ghost, sh uh, ghost quarter shenanigans. Drops a land. I'm really worried about him sticking Karn. Okay, so he bins a Dissipate, which is a little bit frustrating. This is probably something big. That is brutal. Okay, that says bye bye now, and he gets in for two. So we need some outs here. Battle of the Planeswalkers is not going well. Take two, go to seven. Take one, go to eight. I don't get that, but okay. I mean, if he just has more... Oh, that's good that he's 
tapping. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. Ooh, he's just using it now. If he doesn't tap mana here, we're just in trouble. Alright, well maybe he has another land. Don't have another land. Okay, well that allows us to just play Karn and leave up Divine Offering. Seven. Okay. So Karn, Exile, Target, Permanent. If we exile this, we get this. All right, we'll just exile Tamiyo immediately. Unfortunately, Jace is gonna be a Jace. That Jace, that Jace crazy. Okay, we'll see what he's thinking here. Okay, so he puts 10 in my yard. He gets my other Jace, gets a bunch of good stuff, but leaves a Lingering Souls. Bunch of land, hits our Drown Yard, hits an Oblivion Ring. So we'll see, if I can get this Oblivion Ring back, this is probably just a Karn of his own. Hope it's a Batter Skull, so I could gain some life. That would be very sweet. Before I can kill his Spell Bomb, because he still had priority. So he got to do whatever he likes. I mean, these are mostly in for Batter Skull. We have 27 cards, so we kind of got to kill Jace this turn. Um, we might have to exile a card in his hand, possibly stick lingering souls. Kind of hope he doesn't play his own Karn here. That'd be brutal. Be a batter skull. Just do it. Just be a batter skull. Just do it. Okay, so that's awesome, but he's just going to bounce it in response. Okay, we really can't do anything about that. So, Karn goes to one. He untaps. We're not going to use our mana here. Going to make him exile a card. We're going to play our land. And divine offering this. He's probably going to respond by bouncing it to hand. and then we'll respond I don't know why I tapped like that oh he's gotta dissipate okay we let that resolve and then geez that was brutal we'll just have to do that and then we'll ghost quarter away this and get a swamp play a swamp for Liliana and I say we make him discard a card and unfortunately well you know what? Get a planes 
and pass. I was hoping that we wouldn't have our black mana tied up. I kind of punted my black mana a little bit there because then I could have played Lingering Souls out. But we essentially have to win this off of the back of getting rid of this O-Ring. This is possibly his own Karn, which will legend rule our Karns. And that's going to suck because he's just going to mill me out. That's my graveyard. O-ring and O-ring. One O-ring. Good lingering souls, and we can forbid an alchemy. So he's playing Jace pretty smart, I would say. He's got two cards. Quite possibly, he's going to try to kill Liliana of the Vale. I'm gonna let that happen. We will attempt to alchemy here. Leaving up black mana. Kind of hoping this sticks. Jeez, that's a lot of spells. Guess we want. Want Gideon, but then we can't discard. So we'll throw this down, and we'll name Illusion. He's giving me the GG, so I'm pretty sure he has an out to this. We'll flash this back, and. We'll make him sark, sack a creature, but you know, Jace wins. And not much I could do about that because he's going to make me draw 20 cards. Ooh, and he's got a Temporal Mastery. Well, um, yep, scooping this one up. I, I mean, in control matchups, those who stick Jace usually win. Um,. I guess looking back in retrospect, I probably should have taken the Jace over the Tamiyo. And hey, that's a pretty big hand I have. But my opponent played well, so good job to him. Please critique my play mistakes, since I believe there were far a lot more than there should be. And thank you for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.